Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark. This is MacGyver Backpacking. And today we're out exploring. So I just left the hotel, went about 20 minutes out to a, a somewhat local park. And uh, there's about 10 miles of trail, maybe a little bit more than that. Some waterfalls, some other cool stuff out here. Uh, this is High Mountain Preserve. And so figured I'd come out here today. There was a little bit of break in the weather. So the remnants of Hurricane Ian uh, are up this way right now so yesterday it rained a lot it's supposed to rain a lot today I'm kind of in between the rain bands so I figured what better time to get out and try and explore than the first weekend I'm here in New Jersey uh, and so why not get out and try and try and find out what's here and how things are so appreciate you guys coming along it's windy so hopefully you guys can hear me it's a little bit chilly this morning it's in the 50s and then with that wind chill it's a little bit cooler than that i've got extra clothes in the bag i've got a rain jacket in case the rain comes back but let's go explore come on let's go So I mentioned there's 10 miles of trails. There's 10 miles of trails on the official trail map. However, there are offshoots all over the place. And so you've got to pay attention to staying on the trail uh, that you're wanting to be on. Otherwise, who knows where those go right now. I mean, it's like any other local park. You get, you get people kind of going off on their own, exploring, and uh, you know, some of those may go to really cool places and maybe over time we'll find that out. One of the reasons I wanted to come out here today was to get a little bit more experience with this pack. So this is the Waymark Dark Sky Pack. And uh, I've been using it for a little while now. You guys saw it on all the Utah trips. Uh, while I was out in Utah, used it on every one of the day hikes there. Used it a couple of times, uh, used it on an airplane ride. And um, yeah, it's, it's coming really, really handy. So I wanted to talk with you guys about that while I was out here today too. So we'll find a nice spot, sit down, take a look at it and go through all the features of it. So a few weeks ago, while I was out in Salt Lake City, I got the chance to sit down with Mark and Devin, the CEO and COO of Waymark, and asked him about the name Dark Sky. Where did Dark Sky come from? And so being a Utah-based company, they wanted to tie to the lineage of Utah. And they didn't want to be so obvious with something like Bryce or Canyonlands or something like that. So uh, they got to thinking about it. and. There is the International Association of Dark Sky or International Dark Sky Association, which certifies wild areas as uh, very minimal to no light pollution. And those are the absolute darkest places in the world that you can go and see the stars and really get a good glimpse of you know, everything above us. Well, Utah happens to have five of those, which is the greatest concentration of them in the entire world. And so, hence the term Dark Sky, and a portion of every sale of the Dark Sky pack goes towards the International Dark Sky Association, which I think is really cool. So why don't we talk about the features and kind of what goes into this pack. Okay, so this is the Dark Sky pack, and I've got mine in black. I think that 
I want to say that that might be the only color you can get it in right now. I know that there was a red rock colored one there um, and maybe a blue one that I saw. But anyway, I think it's a really cool looking pack. It's very sleek. Right now I've got it pretty packed. Like I said, I've got my rain jacket in here. I've got water filtration stuff. I've got water and then I've got it packed. Uh, it's an 18 liter pack. So it's 16 internal and two on the exterior uh, with these ultra stretch fabric. So this is made of that ultra fabric, which is the recycled plastic stuff that's out there. And it's super, super durable. I think that Miyagi did a test with one of these and actually dragged it behind him with the ultra on the ground over rocks, over grass, over everything for miles. And it came back and I actually saw that that exact pack. It's hanging up in the Waymark facility with no no real damage to it, which is which a test is a testament to how strong this stuff is. Uh, so it's water resistant. It's made of a, uh, you know, it's got a rip stop on the outside. It's got a kind of a, a, a waterproof, water resistant zipper. Inside, uh, it's got plenty of room. The one piece that I really, really like about this is this zipper on the inside. So it is a standard feature. It's the zipper inside. You know, you can put your wallet, you can put your keys, all that stuff that on a on a day hike you don't want in your pockets because you know you sit down to have lunch or whatever you don't want it falling out so right now i've got extra clothes in here i've got food uh i've got a uh a little lounging hammock uh so i've got i've got enough stuff in here to make this this work and it carries really really well that's the one thing i have noticed as i've been using this is just how well it carries and i think that one of those reasons is this entire back pane is a foam sheet. Now it's not a removable foam sheet, so you can't use it as a sit pad or anything like that, but this is a solid foam sheet there. And then it's got pretty, for a day pack, it's got pretty wide shoulder straps, which are really well padded, which help to distribute that weight. You can also get it with a one inch hip belt. Uh, and you, I think that you can just clip them on right here and add that on after the fact. And you can also get shoulder strap pockets uh, for water bottles. So really convenient really works out well and and for what I've used it for you know I've gotten out on several trips uh, I threw my my laptop I've got a small laptop and an iPad in here and I flown with it just like this with snacks and other stuff in there uh, but it looks really good and it carries really well and it just you know the the really thin profile of it works really well for uh, you know scrambling going between rocks and stuff some of those peaks that i was doing out in utah you know a bigger bulkier day pack would have been a, a problem but this thing is nice and small and carries really well at the price point it's actually really good it's 115 and then you know you can do some of the add-ons to uh to kind of increase that cost you know the the one inch webbing strap or the shoulder pockets will increase the price but like i said a portion of that sale does go to the international dark sky association so you're helping out really cool places as well but if you guys got any questions or, or comments about this pack or uh, you know it's build construction it's quality any of that stuff reach out let me know leave comments down below let me know what you think of this pack would you use it Now it's still very green. I think that in the next couple of weeks, we should start to see these colors change. Uh, there are some trees, not these specific ones, but there are some trees that have started to change and they look beautiful. So hopefully we get out and we get to see some really good fall colors. I passed a guy just a few minutes ago and he said that right in this area, uh, he saw a coyote as he was walking up through here. Now I saw a squirrel over here, but I have not seen a coyote. And really there's some cool rock formations right over here. Some little cliffs and stuff. Uh, kind of cool. Lots of, lots of interesting stuff to explore and look at. Now I know that with all these little offshoot trails, there's probably really cool stuff just right over there or right over there. But I'm not seeing it because I'm staying on the main trail. Maybe a different day uh, when there's not, you know, such a threat of of rain and storms, I might get off and spend the whole day out here exploring. But uh, for today, you know, it's just, it's nice to get out, have a trail to uh, to get on and uh, yeah, just enjoy 
getting outside. I gotta say, it's really nice to be back in an area that has real trees, big trees, and not a lot of underbrush. So, you know, as I'm walking through here and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, there's a good hammock spot. Oh, there's a good hammock spot. But there's so many of them uh, that, you know, it's really nice to be back in an area that has trees that are really adequate for hanging. And, you know, this is just, it's, it's nice. It's nice. You know, I always like to give you guys both the positives and negatives about a piece of gear. And like I said, this dark sky pack carries amazingly well. And it does have optional shoulder strap water bottle pockets. Now, if you're somebody who wants to just keep walking and grab your water, you may want to opt for those because with these ones, I can, I can touch my water bottle, but I have no way my arms, especially my left shoulder, uh, my shoulders just will not allow me to get to my water bottle and pull it out while I'm moving. I actually have to disconnect, take a shoulder out, kind of sling it around, then I can grab the water out and keep moving, but it's a whole lot easier if you have those those shoulder strap pockets. Now I will warn you, uh, actually it doesn't really matter. I was gonna say I have, uh, I've warned people and, and talked about not using chest pouches anymore because it puts the weight on your shoulder. But honestly, with these, uh, we aren't using a hip belt. It isn't on, the weight's not being transferred to your hips. So the weight's gonna be all on your shoulders regardless. Uh, you just may notice that it may pull a little bit on one shoulder if you have it on your shoulder strap. But if you want water available, readily available, that's the way you're gonna have to do it. All right guys, I'm just about back to the parking lot. Got in just under five miles today and uh, had a good time getting out. If you guys have any questions, any comments about this pack that I've been using, the Dark Sky from Waymark, let me know. Let me know what you think of the, uh, of the pack. Would you use it? Would you not use it? All right, I will see you guys down the trail.